Hi there. In this video, I'm going to talk about something called as a Windows Live Writer. It's basically a very good, useful tool to post your blog onto your favorite CMS right from your desktop. The Live Writer software has been developed by Microsoft Corporation and it is very useful to uh, format your blog post right at your desktop and then post it to your favorite blogging platform such as WordPress or Blogger or something more like uh, LiveJournal, TypePad, WordPress and a lot of other things. I would concentrate more on the WordPress part of the CMS uh, using this Live Writer. The question that might arise is if I already have a default uh, uh, editor in the WordPress screen, why do I need to add a live writer? I mean, I can do a lot of things right here and I can do a lot of formatting here, so why do I need live writer? The answer to that question is that live writer looks a little familiar to Windows users and you can do a number of things like formatting and uh, picture editing and embedding the hyperlinks it's kind of much easier to do it right here than in the WordPress admin panel basically it's your personal choice but when you use live writer you will you, uh, you will find that it's much easier to use live writer than using the default WordPress uh, admin so the first step to installing the live writer on your desktop is to search for it and you can do that by going to the Google site and typing download live writer you would be taken to the link download Windows live writer from official Microsoft Word uh, website just click on it and you will be taken to a screen where you can just enter your uh, language multiple languages available and you can do a download you can also check the system requirement installation instructions and other re related details on this website once you have downloaded this software and install it, you will see a screen like this. Basically, this screen is uh, just like this a WordPress uh, editor that you have been so used to. And it has all the things that uh, you would need to write your draft or publish it directly to your blog post. So if you just enter a title here, for example, this is a title. And here is your con content and you just hit the publish button after you set up you will find that the blog is published to the uh, wordpress blog that you own but before you can post uh, it to your blog you will have to make a small setting to connect your uh, windows live writer to your blog post once you have installed it correctly and you see the screen you can go to the drop down here and click on add blog account it will show you a number of uh, kind of services that it provides it not only for wordpress but also for blogger typepad and other things just click on the wordpress and and enter your blogging address it's just the web address of your blog not the admin panel and related things like that just the web address which is ikis-blog.com and the username enter the password that you will be used to log into your blog and just click on remember my password so that you don't have to type it every time so when you press next windows live writer starts collecting information from your blog regarding uh, various settings that it has and the blog categories and it is a very short process which will be utilized to set up your blog correctly and you see a message would you like to download the blog theme by publishing a temporary post so the th thing is that uh, windows live writer not only publishes it but also shows you how your blog post would actually look like on your site so it's a good idea to 
just publish a temporary post and once it downloads those uh, settings from your blog it will delete that post so just press yes here and now it is downloading my blog editing themes and related stuff so once it has done it it has also found my blog nickname the title of my blog and it has uh, uh, shown me the uh, description of the blog here just I can go ahead and change it but uh, this is not necessary right now just press finish here and as you can see the color has changed so basically it has got the theme and other settings from my blog uh, settings and uh, now it is showing me everything right at this spot so the good part about is that I can see what it looks like how it looks like and also I can check out the source just the same way I can do it in the uh, WordPress uh, editor I can just type in some visual here and then I can go and check out how HTML looks like for example if I introduce a link here by clicking here and adding and if I go to the text you'll, you'll find that the yahoo.com address has been converted to the HTML similar kind of thing you can do right here itself so you don't have to go anywhere else to do or to read the HTML you can also check out how it is looking by going to the preview button right at the bottom left of your screen and this is my blog and how it is going to look like so it gives me a fair idea of how my blog is going to look like on my site if I have more content then I can just click on it and it will give me a good understanding of uh, how the pictures will appear and how the text will appear so once you have set this thing up if you want to write a new blog post it's very easy to do go to the topmost uh, button on this left hand corner and click on it and you would be shown a host of options you can create a new post or you can open already existing post from your local machine it also saves your uh, draft on your local machine or it can open your post the recent post from your uh, existing blog so if you want to just create a new post or a new page so I hope you are aware of the difference between post and page uh, let us concentrate on the post now so if you have a new post just click on it and here it is just enter any post title for example this is a new post add, add some content right here add some headings the best part about is that is now you can uh, do a formatting and even the color of the formatting has been changed from uh, the, uh, the usual black and uh, it has been taken from your um, blog settings that you have done in your blog theme so if you just select this and press this as heading one then you can see that it uh, the the heading one is now having the properties of your heading available in your blog post So the heading 2 for example is in red color and hence it appears in the red color. So it's a very handy tool to do all kind of things and on the top of it you can do a lot of uh, formatting with different uh, font types. You can change the sizes, make the text bold or italicized. So basically if you are familiar with Microsoft Word you will find it very very easy to do the things you can color the uh, content with any color like this or you can highlight it so basically once you've done it you and you've written your content you can also find out how many words you have written 
by pressing on the word count on the right hand side so it will tell you how many words are there and a lot of other details it will also do a spell check for you and if you want to do find something you can do that as well another interesting tab that i found on this live writer is uh, the insert tab normally it's not easy to do things in the web based editor for example inserting a table in wordpress is a little difficult or to modify pictures uh, on the runtime is slightly difficult so it's very easy to do on a live writer for example i want to add a hyperlink let's say i want to add a hyperlink yahoo.com i just write yahoo.com and select it and say hyperlink so it displays the web address i can just type yahoo.com it will be linked there are a lot of other seo related functions that you can see if you want to uh, give it a title you can give it like this and if you want to use a uh, rel which is uh, used by google a lot to determine your page rank you can give that information as well if you want this link to open in a new window you can just go to the open link in new window and it when somebody clicks on that link it will be opened in a new window in your in their browser so it's very simple so you can also link to your previous post rather than the uh, just the links so in that case the previous posts are you know uh, pulled up and then you can just connect it just like that and it's very simple to link either to a hyperlink or a previous post one of the cool things that i liked about this microsoft uh, windows live writer is that i can insert the picture directly onto my blog post and also make a lot of modifications so to do that i will just go to the insert and click on the picture icon where i'm presenting with two options from my own computer or from the web i'll just uh, choose this from your own computer click on it and choose any of the pictures that i have for example i'll choose this one so as you can see uh, this picture is directly embedded into this uh, blog post and when i click on this picture a new tab opens basically this tab gives me a lot of flexibility in understanding and uh, enhancing the picture and changing the various kind of attribute the size and the effects and the contrast and all kind of stuff so for example this picture has by default a shadow on the right hand and the bottom side of it i can just click on this uh, picture type here style here and that would be gone so as you can see the shadow is gone and there are multiple options if i want to just frame it with a black uh, border i can do it like this or if i want to give it a rounded corner i can do like this so basically it's a very good tool to uh, make changes to your picture you can also do uh, things like change the size keep the original size in that case the original would be put into the blog post or you can change your size to small medium or large and you can log the aspect ratio so that the the quality of image doesn't get distorted also you can crop the picture so that you don't have to go anywhere just select this like this and crop it and this image would be changed to whatever you want there are a lot of other things that i would not discuss it maybe it's a good idea to for you to discover it on your own because it's a very good tool in a similar manner you can also embed a video either from the web or from your computer from any other web service and there are a lot of options that open up so you have a lot of uh, things that you can do with this uh, this toolbar this is very handy and it's 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 very useful for adding a lot of information Another cool feature, and I see that there are lots and lots of cool features in this software, is that when it downloads the setting of your blog, it also downloads the categories that your blog has. So, for example, my blog has all these categories. 
so I can just directly check check it and assign them directly to my blog and I can also add some tags for example something like this and then I can do a scheduling or I can post it right right away using not not using this but using the publish button at any moment if I want to see how it looks like I can just go here and click on this preview button on the le bottom most uh, left side and I can see that this blog looks like this if I want to make modifications to the HTML source I can go here and it will tell me the the HTML and the CSS that have been applied to create this kind of uh, effect basically it's very simple a CSS there's nothing complicated about it so once you have created your blog post you can do two things you can just press ctrl s and save it as a local draft if you are still working on it so you can just press save and there are a lot of options like save and post draft to the blog or you can post a draft to the blog by just pressing this button and it will not be published but it will come in the uh, publishing queue of your blog post in your wordpress so that you can uh, edit it there or you can directly publish it right at this moment basically you can choose multiple number of options and it is very very flexible so when you hit on this for example i do a post draft to the blog let's see what happens so right now it is pushing my blog post from the local to the website it normally takes very little time but since there's a picture involved it takes some time and when i see on the post side of it for example i go to the all posts So as you can see in the draft section if I click on the draft section this is a new post has been uh, posted to this site and if I want to make final touches I can just go here even the image and everything has been published the categories have been set I can I have to just hit the publish button it also stores your draft in uh, this uh, a local folder so if you have created something in uh, in 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 uh, your uh, blog but you want to download the latest version just click on it just go here and click on this a new post and that post would be retrieved from the original blog and would be shown here for your reference so I hope it was not long enough and it was very useful video to watch if you have any question do let me know by commenting below i will be happy to help thanks for watching and do subscribe to my channel thank you